So the the idea here is that we would like to have we have a person here. Um, so that's that's us. Uh, and then we want to communicate with someone else over here. Um, that's another person. And uh, the idea then is that we will use then uh, a microphone here. Imagine that this is a microphone that's connected to wire uh, going somewhere and then to a speaker here, which will produce sound here on that side. Um, okay, so this is kind of the scenario that we're dealing with. And this communication here can either be in real time or it can be in non-real time if we talk about a recording, but the, the concept is still the same. Uh, the main difference though is that when you're doing, just doing recording and playing back after, afterwards, we don't really need to, to think about feedback because feedback is kind of when you get sound coming back again and that kind of, that makes you unhappy if you get that back. Um, so that's, that's something also to consider. Um, one important thing here is that we often think about the microphones and the, the speakers as such, but we also need to think about that these uh, people, us, are also in rooms and that we also then need to deal with the acoustics of the room, which will also be kind of influencing this in different ways. And similarly on this side here, we also have, we also have a room where you have again these reflections here. Now, in the the scenario that we are looking at now, we don't really have much control of what's going on here on the receiver side. That's kind of when I'm speaking now, I cannot, I can only focus on my own sound, uh, not so much on your sound. Uh, you need to kind of figure out your own sound in a way. Um, but still, it helps if I can optimize my own sound um, here. Um, and then hopefully you can optimize your sound to, to get the best out of it. Now, that's kind of what we're trying to do. And I guess we'll I focus mainly on, on this side here then um, now today. Um, so when it comes to microphones, we have very generally uh, speaking, we have two main types of microphones. We have what is called dynamic microphones on one side, and then we have condenser microphones on the other. And the main difference is that condenser microphones need power. So they need to actually get some kind of power to work. Um, and this is often uh, uh, something that you don't really think much about because the microphones that you use may be powered or not. You don't really know. Is that that microphone? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, can you hear this one? Yeah. So that's kind of this kind of podcast microphone, kind of radio style microphone that will give you um, kind of this type of, yeah, well, um, high quality sound if you like. Um, then um, this one can be a bit further away as well. Um, so you can you can sit and also you can kind of move around it a little bit. I think it will not pick up so well on the sides. It will mainly pick up from the front. Um, so you can, can also notice a difference here. Uh, also, if I'm a bit further away, um, it will still pick up, but perhaps not too much. Right now, I think I am using the microphone on my Logitech web camera, which is sitting up here, which will probably pick up quite a lot of uh, sound in the room. So it's quite, quite roomy. So if I try to then switch to using the built-in microphone on my laptop, it's probably also pretty bad at sitting here somewhere. It's probably also quite roomy um, in how it sounds like. So if you compare that, for example, to then the microphone that I held my headset here, uh, which is um, a powered microphone, it's a condenser microphone um, with um, uh, with a USB connector, so it, it gets power from from that one, uh, and it it's kind of it's a more directional microphone, uh, and it also of course picks up the sound very close to where I'm sitting. So um, this is probably quite sharp because it's made for, for speaking. While, for example, if I change to this here again, it's more of kind of a radio style kind of quality, I guess, uh, from, from the one uh, being here. So I guess um, the main point here is really just to, to show you kind of some of the differences between, between this type of microphones and how to, to test that. So um, thinking about the microphone that you use uh, will be important, but it's also important to think about where you are sitting. 
so um, using, for example, the built-in uh, microphone on the laptop can work quite well in the sense that you're sitting and speaking directly into your laptop. So uh, you will be able then to also get quite direct sound. But the problem is that, for example, where I'm sitting now, I have a very loud fan above me. Um, and that fan is also picked up, I think, quite a lot in in that uh, laptop uh, microphone. So um, if you're in a quiet room, uh, you can basically use anything, but it will always help to be closer to, to the microphone. For recording, um, you can ha also have some other options that are not working so well for, for streaming. And typically what I like to use um, uh, are these type of small uh, lovely microphones that you can put on the body. Um, and I have a cable crash here right now, but um, this is kind of the type of microphone that I'm thinking about, which is uh, kind of what they use on TV that you can put kind of here. Um, so these are quite small and nice. And what is also cool these days is that some, some companies have now started making these with kind of a TRRS pin. I'm not sure if you can see that it cannot really focus on this thing, but it has, oh, me, my head. <laughs> it has three pins on it. This is similar to what you can plug into your um, mobile phone if you still have a mini jack or to your computer. And also notice that this is different from um, a normal headset that typically only has two of these kind of uh, rings around it. Uh, so the three rings means that if one is the kind of the microphone signal and you have two signals for the stereo sound. Um, and this is this is a microphone by, uh, by Rode. Um, it costs around 600 kroners. And this can be plugged directly into your mobile phone and you can record and you get very, very nice sound from these things. So if you want to have a very cheap and easy setup to do cool and nice recordings for, uh, if you want to kind of record a lecture, for example, then using your mobile phone and connecting one of these will actually give you a very high and uh, nice quality uh, recording and compared to many, many other things and much better than what you can get from your laptop. You can, of course, also connect this to your, to your laptop if you have a kind of a, a plug that, that fits that or through some kind of USB device. And there are different there are different types of these, but the, they are actually quite cheap these days. What I actually discovered the other day was that this is actually a powered microphone. I didn't really think much about this. Um, so you need to have uh, uh, you plug it into something that has kind of a plug-in mic connector. Most mobile phones and computers have that these days, and they are actually powered. If you're interested in details, I wrote about this on my blog in quite a lot of detail too. When I kind of try to figure out uh, the differences between all these, because there are also similar microphones like this that are dynamic that don't need power. And it's a bit difficult to say when you just look at them because the, there is not really one standard for these plugs. They have different standards and that's super confusing. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of what I wanted to say really. Um, I thought perhaps we should...